Let me show you how to separate text in Excel with or without formula depending on your Excel version. And at the end, I have a bonus trick. So let's go. I have some text here in a terrible shape. So if you see, you have a small E, capital B, etc. And I need to fix the format before I can separate the names. So let's use our proper formula, open parenthesis. We select the text, close parenthesis, press enter. It is fixed. Next, I need to do the split. Now for text to column, I cannot use something with a formula. I need the data. So Ctrl C to copy and we need to paste everything here. We can go to home, paste, paste special. The shortcut is on the screen, by the way. This is values, press OK. And now no more formula. What we will do is select everything. We go to data, text to column. We want it delimited, so next. And here you select your delimiter. My delimiter in my case is a space. So I select the space. You can select others if you have them. And if you have another character, use other here. Let's do next. We don't have any problem here. Finish. And there you go. You get the split. Let's go for flash fill, which is way easier. So here I need to give it examples. John, for example, control E and you get everything. Now notice Edwards. It's not fixed. So you can just go to Edwards and just type it to give it another example. And Raymond is automatically fixed. Let's do the same for the family names. So eyebrows like this, control E here. It's not fixed. So I need to give it more example. Let's do it like this. A third example and it works. Now I'm using the shortcut, but actually you have flash fill under data. It is here. This is the icon. And if you go to home, you can go under this icon, you have flash fill. Now let's go to Office 365. If you have Office 365, your life is super easy. There is a formula called text split and I advise you to use it. So let's use it here. Text split, open parenthesis. So many parameters, but a lot of them, they have these brackets, so they are optional. I'm just going to use the first two. So this is my text. Comma, my delimiter is the space. We put it in double quotations, close parenthesis and press enter. So you get it. Now the problem is this is not in proper format. So just add proper here. So you wrap it, close parenthesis and it works. Now we can drag the formula down and you get everything. If you insist on using a formula and you don't have Office 365, it's a bit cumbersome. Let me show you how and you can use it. So here I need to get a left formula, open parenthesis. This is my text. I need four characters because John is four characters. Close parenthesis and you get John. Now the problem is it's not always four. So if I drag it, I have a problem. Let's calculate the number of characters. Here you can use a find formula. So find my text is a space. We put it in double quotations, comma within text. It's here. Start number is optional. It will start at the beginning if I don't define it. So close parenthesis, press enter. You get five and here we had four because it is counting the space. So just do minus one. And now if you just use it, you just get the result. It is the same thing. So I can just drag this like this and I can double click. It will work. Now, obviously you can add proper here, open parenthesis close parenthesis and you double click, everything is fixed. You can also take the formula, control C escape and put it here instead of this D2, which is the number of characters. We paste it. It is the same concept. Now for last name, it's a bit more complicated. So we have a right formula here, open parenthesis. My text is the same number of characters, eight close parenthesis and you get it. Now, how do I get this eight? Let's calculate the number of right characters. So we're going to take the length of the whole thing. There you go. That's 13. Then let's do minus these four characters. You get nine. You just need a minus one to get rid of the space. And that's the formula. So I just drag it and I can refer to this cell or just copy paste the formula within this formula and you drag it. You get everything. Let's not forget proper open close parenthesis and you just drag it. Next is my bonus. So if you have something more complicated, I'm going to show you how to do it. 
So first of all, we can use flash fill. So here I have John, press enter, then Maria. You can see it is suggesting the flash fill. Press enter and you get everything. Now Maria is not working, so you can just change it again and it will work. For the middle name, this is M, then you have B. You can do control E, for example, you get the rest. And last name, you can do it like this. You need a second one, press enter, control E, you get everything. Now for flash fill, the only problem is that if something changes, you have to do it again. This is one of the drawbacks. Text split, which is Office 365, is super easy. So you just use the formula, text split, it's here, and we need the text, it's here. Now my delimiter is the comma. So let's put the comma here, close parenthesis, press enter. The only problem is you might have some of those spaces. To get rid of them, you can just use trim, wrap it into trim and now it's working you still need the proper for the eyebrows so you can wrap it into proper super simple and then you just drag it